given the coordinate transformation and the Jacobian matrix that we described in the previous slide, uh, you calculate the um, volume element DDL to be equal to determinant J DL D phi D theta one to D theta D minus two. And that's given by L to the power D minus one DL D phi sine theta one D theta one sine square theta two D theta two sine to the power D minus two theta D minus two D theta D minus two. Then the integral I of D is given by one over two pi to the power D integral D phi to zero to two pi product over K to T minus two integral d theta k sine to the power k theta k zero to pi and then integral d l l to the d minus one f l Now this is uh, this is a standard integral. I will quote the result. You can try to find this result. Gamma k plus one over two divided by gamma k plus two over two. Then this, this result combined with the phi integral will be given is, is the surface area of unit D minus one sphere, which is given by is d equals two pi k equals one to d minus two square root pi gamma k plus one over two divided by gamma k plus two by two. Well, let me introduce a gamma function here. Gamma of z is defined to be integral dt zero to infinity e to the minus t, t to the power z minus one. Gamma z plus one is equal to z gamma z and gamma n, when z is an integer, then it is n minus one factorial for n greater than zero. Yeah, that's the result. Now this is uh, uh, two pi times pi to the power d minus two by two. Take the product uh, of this ratio of two gamma functions uh, for various values of k. Mm, this is gamma one divided by gamma three by two times gamma three by two divided by gamma two and so on. And the last one is gamma d minus one by two gamma d by two. So what happens is that this term cancels with this, this will cancel and all these gammas will cancel only this and this will remain. And uh, gamma one is just one and the end result is two pi to the power d by two divided by gamma 
b by 2. So uh, therefore, that the result of this entire integral uh, using all these result, intermediate results uh, can be written as is d divided by 2 pi to the power d integral dl 0 to infinity d minus 1 fl. Let us now consider some explicit examples. Um, consider um, FL equals L square plus M square minus A. Let us take this, then the result, let me call it I1 dA, which is integral d dL divided by two pi to the d, L square plus M square to the power minus X. So the, you have um, D powers of L upstairs and two A powers of L downstairs. So UV divergence um, will occur for D greater than or equal to two A. Now the same result according to the previous calculation will be given by SD divided by two pi to the power D times integral DL zero to infinity L to the power D minus one L square plus M square to the minus A. And um, what you can do is to take M square out of it. So SD by two pi to the power d m to the power minus two a dl l to the d minus one one plus l square plus m square to the power minus a zero to infinity then you substitute y equals l square by m square such that dy is 2 over m square l d l. And in terms of y, it will be the following. Um, can write it as this d minus two. So it is m square plus, uh, so two plus uh, minus two a, and then from here d minus two. So this is what I've written here. Um, then integral dy, y to the power d by two minus one, one minus one plus y to be minus a zero to infinity. Okay. If you substitute the value of ASD that we obtained here, 
then this can be written as one over two pi to the power d pi to the power d by two divided by gamma d by two m square to the power d by two minus a and uh, this object this y integral is actually the Bernoulli's number, the, sorry, not the Bernoulli's number, beta function, uh, d by two, a minus d by two, which is given, given by gamma d by two, gamma a minus d by two, divided by gamma a, that's beta function. And so write gamma d by two a minus d by two divided by gamma a gamma d by two cancels and the end result is one over four pi to the power d by two m square to the power d by two minus a times gamma a minus d by two divided by gamma a. So this is the result for um, i one d comma a, which is given by this. We get this result. So gamma a minus d by two has simple poles. So this is defined over whole complex plane, complex d plane. Except for simple poles of gamma a minus d by two. 